Welcome back. Right now we're going to get into a little bit of functionality of a PLC program and we want to see when a PLC program is running, how does it run? How does it flow? How do the instructions register by the controller? We've got a test program here which I developed specifically for this course and right now I have it loaded and running on a PLC emulator. So I'm going to click on our connectivity button over here that we discussed in the last lecture and we're going to go ahead and go online so you see the changes now we're greened up on our remote run processor status and we have a running ladder icon here when we look in our navigation pane on the left under program files we see ladders two through nine when you create a PLC program in RS Logix 500 you start with ladder 2 and that's the default ladder it's always going to be there you can't delete it you can't get rid of it any other ladders you can add if you need to and for most programs I would highly recommend doing so you don't want all of your code in the same ladder it makes it impossible to use but you're going to start at execution time with ladder 2 and when we get into the ladder in our programming window we see the rungs numbered from 0, 1, 2, down to I have 8 rungs of code in this particular ladder and you're always going to have an end rung on the bottom which really doesn't count because it doesn't particularly do anything so starting with rung 0 this program is going to execute and once it gets to 1 we have this command that says jump to subroutine 3 so once it gets here it's going to come over to ladder 3 and it's going to run all the way down this ladder unless it hits another jump command in which case it's going to return to ladder 2 go down to the next line in this case line 2 which is another jump sending it to ladder 4 and as you can see then it jumps to 5 then it jumps to 6 and ultimately it gets to the end and it has nowhere else to jump so it comes right back up to zero and it runs through the loop all over again so the way a PLC program runs in RS Logix 500 PLCs is it runs ladder 2 and it runs it over and over again if it happens to jump conditionally or every time to another subroutine it will do so but it runs ladder 2 over and over again to give you an idea of how often this PLC can scan a program and each time it iterates through ladder 2 we call that a scan we're gonna look back in our navigation pane and we're gonna go up to processor status and the third tab here gives us scan times when we look at our scan times right now we have a maximum scan time of 61 so what that means is this program is iterating all the way through all of these ladders to the left every instruction on every one and it's doing that every 6.1 milliseconds which if you do the math and convert 6100 microseconds I believe you come up with 6.1 milliseconds so in a single second this program is executing hundreds of times it's very fast each time it does it's sampling its inputs it's writing its outputs it's considering and changing all of its logic as it needs to it's managing its data and it's doing all of that every 6.1 milliseconds so a PLC program is very fast which is another advantage it has over using something like an Android based cell phone or a computer we had discussed in section 2 I believe it was why you couldn't use a computer for controlling machinery once you start Microsoft Office or Adobe Photoshop on a computer you know it can slow down considerably a PLC is very stable runs at a very steady speed all the time 
Some things like temperature or a type of program can affect it, how many PID control loops you have. We'll get into those later. There are things that can affect scan time, but not nearly as much variance as what you would experience if you were using some other type of non-dedicated controller.